All right, guys, well, the weld out of the roll cage is actually pretty time consuming. And there's a there's kind of a sequence of events on how I do it, how I get going and just the whole process. My biggest thing is it will still move on you. I don't have a big enough table to clamp this thing all the way down, but it will still move on you if you get too much heat in any one area, uh, i.e. the seat brackets. Those things will move on you just a little bit. You line them up perfectly, tack them, but they will still move. So here's what I do. You'll see in my time lapse that I go around and what I can reach easily while the cage is still in the boat. I'll do a, at least like a quarter weld here, quarter weld, wherever I can reach easily because it's still sitting nice and flat in the boat before I lift it out because it can move on me in there. So you're going to see that uh, in the time lapse, the getting as much as I can do while it's in the boat. Then I'll pull it out and I'll just start going to town on it. My welder, let's talk about that really quick. My TIG welder is a Miller. My shop is disgusting right now, by the way. It's a Miller Dynasty 200 DX, little AC DC uh, inverter. So I literally flip the switch over to DC and I run 100% argon. And this is the tungsten that I use. See if that will focus. It's the 2% seriated uh, tungsten for the Chrome Oli 4130 tubing. And that's what I, I'd say, 95% of this thing is TIG welded. I, I tack weld it with the uh, wire feed, as well as some of the really sharp angles. I will do those um, with, the, with the wire feed as well. Uh, it is 95% TIG welded. So you're gonna see all that. The, it's a big, long time lapse. There's not a whole lot other uh, to talk to about it, but um, let's get going on that. Um, there was one other thing I was gonna talk about. What was that? Oh, just the way that I moved the cage around. Like once I get it on the ground, I'll go weld everything that I can with it in that position. And usually I'll go take about a 30 minute break, let everything cool. That uh, the Dynasty is, um, it's an air cooled torch. So that kind of slows me down. Where's my torch? My, my shop is a disaster right now. This is my um, air cooled torch only. And this is one thing I want to talk to you about as well is, I have a thumb wheel control for this thing and it works great for this kind of stuff where I'm moving around and I got to climb in the boat and do some TIG welding. You couldn't really do that with a foot pedal. I don't see very many people using those and it's taken me a long time to get used to it, but I feel like I've gotten pretty good at that thumb wheel. So it's like you do a big wheel to get it started, to get that arc going. And then I'm pretty good at, uh, at feathering it off as I get closer to, to thin gauge or whatever. One other thing I want to talk about, your torch angle on this is, is still pretty important. I'm going to use this as an example right here. So you have a tube end coming into here, into this tube, right? So if your torch angle is too much like that, you're going to burn out those tube ends just because it's 083 wall. So your torch angle needs to be more directly right towards this solid tube. Otherwise, you're going to burn these edges back. So I really direct the, that torch angle towards there and then just kind of splash it over onto that thinner. 083 is really, really thin and there doesn't take much to burn those uh, edges back and there goes your perfect joint. So that's the only other tip. Enjoy the time lapse. Once this thing is done, it's time to start rigging it. So I can't wait to do that. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done already, follow me over at Jolly Roger Aviation. Honestly, that's the reason that this boat has started to drag and I need to focus more on this thing. It's, it's getting to be a bit of a time crunch. It's time to go. But Jolly Roger Aviation, I bought a little hot rod airplane if you want to check out some of that. We'll see you over there. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video here. Thanks for watching.